Mental illnesses are among the most common health conditions in the world, and it is believed that one in five adults experience some form of mental illness. But it's not all bad or because the good news is that even the most serious mental health conditions can be treated, however, allowing people to better contribute to their families and communities. We have details in this report. According to research, one in four women develop depression at some point in life, while one in three women can expect to experience a major depressive episode at least once. And as Nigeria currently faces a global human rights emergency in mental health, figures suggest that about 80% of individuals with serious mental health needs don't have access to care. Worried by this development, Dr. Maimuna Yusuf Kadiri released a new book, Deep Expression, whose sole aim is to normalize mental health conversation. This is to push that awareness more, get people to speak to people, starting with loved ones, family members, and if for any reason that doesn't help, then talk to professionals. Sometimes as a human being, you just need that reminder. When you're in bad situations, you forget that, just like when it's raining, you forget that um, the dry moment is going to come. So when you visit a mental therapist, they remind you of who you are, redirect you of the steps and where you are going to. The global target of WHO's Mental Health Action Plan aims at 50% of countries to have developed their laws in line with international human rights instruments by 2020. But in reality, only 40% of WHO member states had updated their legislation in the last five years. And sadly, Africa has the lowest rate at 21%. Our people, interestingly, we have a way of creating happiness within sadness, within unpleasant situations. So people in no time found their way. They started dancing. They started, you know, sneaking to places and found solace on social media and, and stuff. So I would say we've not done too badly, even though from the professional side of things, I think we need to do better. Deep expression and depression is about, you know, all the things and emotions you bottle in. How do you express it in a way that people will understand? Because we know that those thoughts are deep, but you must be able to express yourself to get the help that you need. So we are starting the building today. It's not, we are appealing to all of you, it's not going to end here because you cannot build anything in a day, isn't it? So we are laying the foundation to build a culture, a way of life. Phyllis Ilama, TVC News, Lagos.